home. What up, Solar Next and only here back doing some more League of Legends action, playing some Kogma up in the top lane, doing AP sniper Kogma. Again, they just buffed this build like crazy. Uh, they buffed up his R from 20% ratio to a 35%. So a pretty big increase and increased uh Q by another 20% AP ratio as well. So this guy hits like an absolute truck right now. Um hmm. I'm curious how this lane matchup specifically is going to go. I feel like this guy could catch me, even if I throw out E at him. I don't have uh, Mana Flow Band anymore, so it's really not that big of a point to poke him. If I do Mana Flow Band, I want to use my E with Mana Flow Band like, on cooldown. It's kind of the way to do it. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Very scary. Very scary. Yay! But yeah, just going to sit back here. So E or Q is buffed, R is buffed. The main tools is obviously the R. R, living artillery from huge range. You hit that circle, does a lot of damage. And then E, obviously, is what we use to slow them. You can go Rylize and stuff, but I really feel you just try and land your abilities without Rylize. It slows don't stack. And then you go, well, what I'm gonna do, Seraph's Embrace into uh, Leandri's. Leandri's with your E slow, pretty huge. Tons of damage. Plus, if you hit R from far away with Leandrius, just a ton of additional damage. Your R also gets amped up. Ooh, I should have. It's alright. Do that. Lame. Uh, w increases your auto attack range and does percent uh, HP, percent max HP damage. Max HP? Yeah. And it scales with the ability power. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Alright. Sweet. Take W. Put a ward down here. Try not to die. The problem with this in top lane is... Well, basically top lane is so long, it's really difficult to survive if you like overextended and get ganked or something. So I went phase rush to try and help out a little bit. But you can also go Comet too. Comet works pretty well. It's really a scaling build, so we just need to kind of get out of lane. Doesn't really matter if we kill this guy. I mean, obviously it would help because we'd scale harder, but it doesn't matter too much. What's she yelling about? She's yelling to her cat, doing something, right? Eating her food that she brought upstairs. Lol, goofball. I think he's trying to force me to overextend. Uh, Q also has a armor and magic with a shred, and it gives you a uh, passive attack speed. But again, we max E first, Q second, and then obviously R whenever we can. W last for this build, not as important as the auto attacking build. Once we get level 6, we can kind of farm from really far away. Not kind of, we can farm from really far away. That helps a lot. Then we don't have to walk up and overextend ever. I mean, already we can use our E to farm from quite far distance. I'm actually just going to back now and teleport. Get my tier. About even with them. Pretty good. Get tier. Oops, not this one. This one. There we go. I'm going to grab one of these as well. Just TP back up. Oh, I was supposed to go uh, barrier. Whoops. Yeah, if I'm doing Nimbus Cloak, I want barrier. I just forgot. Then I have phase rush to get away. I have barrier. It would give me an increased attack speed, or sorry, increased movement speed with the Nimbus Cloak proc. Need two autos. Ooh, never mind. One should be good here. Bleh. That's annoying. Um, I think. What is she doing? What are we? Oh. <sighs> Oh my god, I missed them fucking cannon minion. Alright. Uh, he didn't use TP, so he still has TP, and I don't. I'm gonna put a pink ward behind me. I don't have lane control at all, because all he has to do is start auto attacking, and then he gets lane control, and I have to play really passive. Uh, the R also stacks up with mana. Oh yeah, and it does bonus uh, damage when the target's below 40% HP. Uh, just gonna try and run. Oh. Oh, hello.
Yeah, artist bonus damage when our opponent's below 40% HP, but also uh, cost more mana for subsequent hits. So right now it's 120 as we had two stacks. So we've got to be a little careful. But like I said, we can sit really far back and get most of our farm here. Uh, problem is that this guy could just kind of gank us again. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. We just have to stand really far away because this guy has a giant movement seed increase. And it can also slow me if he places his E correctly. Just sitting back. Farming it up, waiting for this wave to slow push into us. Worst case scenario would be they try and set up a dive as this wave stacks up and pushes in. So I can try and deal with that by using my E to slow it before it gets into range. And like clear some of the minions obviously. So like right here I'd line up E. Yeah, see. Alright, I'm just gonna leave, I guess? I don't really know. It's like 1v2 up in top lane. This guy refuses to leave. I'm gonna walk here and get a ward down. Okay, guess I can move back. Emax still. Okay. Interesting play. Pop potion. I'm gonna go back to base now. I can get two of these, or boots in one. I might be able to shove another wave. Oh, he's still here. Try and tag him with that, I miss it. Should be able to clear this whole wave though. Use Q for another stack of this. Turn on W, since I'm backing anyways. Q max second. I didn't explain passive. Passive is just when you die, you can run at people and explode, doing true damage. I think it's gonna be better to go like this, actually. Just wish I could spend my gold a little bit better. That's fine. Uh, these can always be resold later. It's not that much of a cost. Also, I should be doing this, this, this. Should be spending out our 40 cost, 40 mana cost abilities to stack up our tier faster. Obviously, we're getting Seraphs first, and once we get Seraphs, it'll be pretty easy to stack it up. But it's just, this just helps a little bit. Good thing I went boots, because he went boot 2 rush. Which is pretty smart. Yeah, a little different without Mana Flow Band here. Again, I wish I went Barrier with the uh, Nimbus Cloak. It's Barrier with Nimbus Cloak, or it's Mana Flow Band with uh, Comet, and then Teleport, obviously. Nice. Pretty easy to farm from range at this point. I don't really want to keep spamming out abilities. I'm probably just going to chill. It's going to cost too much. We can always check if he's in this bush with the R. Try and spot him out. You have to land it if you want to reveal. Worst case scenario, I can just sit back and use R. RE at this point clears backline. If I do that, just walk away. Oh, he's in mid lane. Cool. So we can stand really far back if we do combos like that. We have Gathering Storm, so we get more ability power. Gonna walk farther away, use R. Beautiful. Go back to base here. Or just chill. Mm, he's pretty low, man. I think I can one shot if I get in this bush and surprise him. Oh, he still has R up, man. Kind of assumed he already used it. His flash was weird. I mean, my flash was needed or he killed me. <laughs> I don't think he can kill me under tower. I'm gonna stand here and get all this. Look to reset. Got item right now. I should have turned on W before I backed. No Roa? Never Roa, bro. What? Seraphs. Keep stacking this up. Wait for mana. Cool. Uh, I got teleport in 13. Probably just running back top, holding TP for later. Never want to be at full mana, that's stupid. Always want to let our mana regen be working for us. Especially with this right now. 
<laughs> Refunds 10% of the mana spent too. I see this jungler bot side. Pretty safe. He's got no flash. Again, we're not really gonna go for a kill in a lane like this. It's pretty impossible. So we're really just trying to clear waves and not die. That's like our main objective here. Uh, Volley's over there, so I'm gonna try and push another wave. Should be able to do so without dying. ER. He's still over there, so I'm actually just gonna push your tower here. I do have teleport. I think I take it. I have to find a location that's not gonna get me killed. Ah, I don't know if I did that. I mean, if my team walked in, I think we could have done something. Oh well, uh, I can just go back here. It's kind of shitty. Got him. Just cancel this back. I think we can push tower. Two of us. Just gonna walk back to top. Top has no flash, so I think he's killable. Problem is our jungle doesn't have very much HP. Get a ward down. I feel like walking this way is a little sketchy. Okay, ow. It was definitely sketchy. I don't know, man. I just kind of assume that he's already used his ultimate because we keep having team fights, and he just still has his ultimate up. Like it's kind of tilting. I don't really understand. It's a very long cooldown, so I don't think I'm really that wrong assuming that he's already used it when we're like team fighting on bot side. He went to mid lane, he ganked mid lane, and then he went and had a team fight around dragon, and he still has his ultimate available. Like I don't know. I should just walk the safe way. I can sell both of these and get item. Sweet. Go back to lane. Almost level 11. It's going to increase the distance on our R. Also the damage, obviously. Still doing well. Spam out these abilities and stack this up faster. Going to take a little bit. Doing pretty well, though. If you can have it done by like around 20 minutes, it's pretty good. Anytime before that, obviously, better. Uh, if you have Manifold Band, you can do it a lot faster too, because you can spam more spells out during lane phase, and then, well, I guess during lane phase you don't necessarily have the tier yet. Sit back, wait for the wave to shove in. Press our E. Slow it down. Q. Alright. I'm gonna walk here and get a ward down. My jungle has ultimate. Should be a kill. Nice. I'm gonna push and try and take tower. Well, not take tower, but push. At least. Hey, dude, why are you taking my farm? Level 11. Turn on W, increase range here, so we can stay farther away. He says as he moves up. Why are you trying to take my cannon minion? That seems really stupid. I'm a champion that scales extremely hard. Alright, we can walk away here. I have boot by and base. I'm definitely going to take that. Uh, I can still be casting out abilities. Sweet. One more before I leave. Cool. At 612 right now, very close to having this finished. Like I said, I'm going to get boot by here. It's going to make us faster. should help quite a bit. Get a pink ward as well. Spell out abilities immediately. Again. Beautiful. And let's go back to lane. Beat. I really want a group for this dragon though. I think I'm just going to follow my team here. Keep spamming this out as I go. Then we end up just giving tower here and contesting dragon. 
I don't really think I walked up here. It doesn't make too much sense. If this guy hits a bind, I can basically just kill the guy that he hits a bind on. Uh, I mean, I can't be the first guy forward, so this is really awkward. We should probably push mid lane so we can get dragon control. Um, I don't actually know who we have split versus Volibear. Oh, this build sucks. Is he building edge? Oof. I guess it's not terrible. Really trying to set up this dragon play here. We chunked out this guy a lot, so he's pretty low. I mean, I don't understand why we're not just starting it. Alright, well I'm going to start it since they're all going to hide in the bush. I, I literally have no idea what's going on here. Okay. Are, are we all on like Discord and I just didn't get the memo that we're hiding? Like, I don't really know what this is. Big hits. There we go. Cue this guy as he comes in. Turn W on. Auto attack. Flash out. Definitely dead. Pop this. Nope. Dead anyways. Sweet. Alright. I have no idea what's going on. Why are we playing like... Oh my goodness, man. Makes no sense, bro. I mean, I get why Shivana went in. Like, eventually we're gonna have to move forward. Like, what the fuck's happening here? This is the worst fucking team comp ever. Jesus. Lux needs to move forward and look for a bind. Hiding in a bush over here is not gonna do anything. Move forward, look for a bind. We're not gonna have a way of dealing with Volibear. He's just gonna kill our whole team. Um, I'm gonna go Landry's next. It's gonna help. It's gonna have HP, but no. Well, not no, but not a lot of magic resist. Crazy, bro. I just don't understand what that is. Like, move forward. I'm supposed to be the back line. I mean, this comp is just dog shit, so whatever. We're gonna have to figure out a way how to play around that. I didn't get my Xeros off before I died. That was pretty shit. We need to simply siege and force the enemy to have to group with us or group to defend us. One person deals with Volibear, preferably not me, because I do a lot more than anybody else in a siege. Oh boy. Let the mana stacks fall off. I'd love blue buff, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna reset it, get full HP. I can probably just do Baron, to be honest. We're so far behind at this point. Yeah. I'm gonna teleport here. Get a pink ward. If we can kill this guy, it'd be really good. Well, not me, but my team. There we go. They got Baron, but we aced them. I seemed like a team to stand in front of me, bro. I can literally kill the entire fucking team by myself. They just have to, like, stand in front of me. Like, just stand in front of me and die slowly. That's literally all you have to do. I'll kill everybody. I see some time to hit abilities, and I'll kill everybody. Uh, we get bot tower here. We got mid tier one. Wiped off their Baron buff, which is the most important thing. Like, yeah, they get the gold from it, but it's pretty good. Also, that timing's nice, too, because now Baron's dead, so it's not like they can go get it until they kill us next team fight. 
If I hit one more, one more of my R's, I would add a Quadra and then go for the Penta on him. It's close. Let me go top. Mm. We win the game by poking from range. It's literally the only thing that we can do. So our team comp's really bad. It's not really even my team's fault that our team comp is bad. Like I picked AP Cog, you know what I mean? Like it's not very good in a situation like this. Raise one hit. <laughs> Literally destroying this guy. It's okay, but the main problem is obviously I don't have any front line. Our last pick was this guy, so he could have definitely picked like Alistar, Leona, Gresh, you know, something that peels. That would have been really good for us. Went Lux. Not terrible. Lux has peel if she hits Q, but it's going to peel like one, maybe two targets if they're stacked up. I mean, that's really what we need. Two targets to be peeled, these two. Um, not really sure how we're going to deal with this. They'll have to get to the same area. And hopefully I can start hitting people with stuff before the team fight starts. I did not do very much there. Um, yeah, it's just hard because our, our back line has to play like front line this game. And then our jungle is squishy, support squishy. Obviously top lane squishy as well. Ouch. Go get this. Um... Really need to finish my Landry's. It's going to be a huge DPS increase. If I can get this whole wave, I should be able to get it. Okay. So Doran's buy it. Blue buff would be god tier, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it without them contesting. And then we just don't have vision, really, so it's hard to... Yeah. We don't have a lot of stuff right now. We're definitely playing on the back foot. If I can start, like... The main thing is if I can get poke before a fight happens, before like the objective happens, before whatever they're trying to take. Ooh, boy. I'm just gonna die, they're all right here. Got volley flash though. It's just they force an all-in before I'm able to poke in most situations. Them having their backs against Baron was really good for us, but how often is that really gonna be the case? Not very often. Oh, that's bad. He's very fast. Speaking of very fast, here comes Volley Bear. Yeah, I just can't get that blue buff. We just don't really have a way of doing that. Um. I, mean, I can wave clear all day. That's a nice thing. Got Leandries now. Lucian just sprinted into Int. You really get out here? Got the flash there, obviously. Kind of have to guess. There it is.
Only problem is that I have to like stop moving every time I have to cast the R. This makes it hard to land. Oh boy. Lose a bunch of HP here. Not ideal. I need to let my R fall off. It's costing me 400 mana cast right now. Alright, now I can do it. Just trying to burst this thing down. There we go. He's gonna sprint at us. E him. Big damage. Another one. Whew. Need to play around Dragon now. Oh, I tried to do something. He's really close to being killed. Uh, why is... Okay. Hello, Death Cap. Where you at? You can only get one. Lame. Need to play around this for sure. It's not another option. I can go top lane and then TP. You can just go that way if it's fine. I need like 200 gold real quick. That's the dream. Let me just get this mid wave. All right, grab this real quick and then get over to dragon. I have teleport. I think I'm just gonna TP immediately. I need to be over there first. Cause I have to poke before anything happens. That's really big. Gives us additional vision. I think we just started, boys. Well, I'm in a lot of trouble. Ugh. I can get it from range. We got it. I think we bailed. Nice. It's really good. Try and siege mid. Got him. Push mid. Take tower. Push. I can get another kill here, we can win. I think we just keep going. I got E. I got E. They're all one shot! Kobe it. W on. Pop this. I'm definitely gonna die here. It's alright. I think we end the game here. Did they kill this guy? True damage hit. End. Aced him. <sighs> that E right here with the Lux bind, that was so nice. And we win. Holy shit, bro. Alright. Very simple game. It's as easy as that. We got death cap. 600 ability power. Crazy. Holy moly. We should have to play that like, yeah. That game was so much harder just because of our team comp. And again, it's not really my team's fault. I picked a fucking squishy top laner, you know what I mean? I can't necessarily expect all of them to pick around me. Um, I'll go to this guy. Honestly, they all played fine at the end. It just, again, it was a really weird team comp. We have no frontliner. Even our like frontliner is really just an AP champion that has to like go in and then kind of run away. But yep, AP cog does damage, boys. You heard it. You heard it here first. It's that Baron play that really set us up because once we won that Baron play, we could actually win team fights. The main thing was I just had to be there early enough to start poking because if we just let them engage on us before we got poke off, we'd lose every time. So luckily, I'd get like people down to half HP. You know, chunk out a couple people maybe. Snipe somebody out so that they're sitting really far back. Force out like abilities to run away or whatever. Like prone about to run away so they don't have to engage. Stuff like that really set us up. 
And then uh, forcing fights around the Baron, around the Dragon was really key, because then they're kind of backed up into an area. It makes it easier for me to land abilities. But yeah, I'll take it. Pretty good game. GG well played. Face rush was kind of decent there. Uh, honestly, should have went, uh, what's it called? Barrier. Barrier plus Nimbus Cloak would have been very good. I just forgot to change my summoner spell. Uh, if I'm doing this setup, like this plus Barrier and mid lane, very good. If you want to do top lane, which is obviously less good, because top lane is longer lane, so it's harder to survive that early phase. We played the early game pretty damn well in terms of, excuse me, surviving and like not pushing the wave too much. And when we did push it, we pushed it instantly and backed away. So, and then obviously avoid the dive under tower. I think we played that pretty well, but very, very much easier in mid lane because you really can't die. You press E to clear an entire wave. R, you can literally R from under your tower and like hit the minions. So, yeah, a little bit easier in mid lane. Phase rush, I like a lot. Also can go Comet if you want. Again, if you're going Nimbus Cloak, definitely have Barrier, though. And if you don't want to go Nimbus Cloak, you can do uh, Mana Flow Band. Gives you more mana, scales into this uh, damage. Also gives you more mana for lane phase, so you can be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, you can definitely get kills in lane phase. If you spam E on somebody, it's pretty un a little, little unexpected. I played against Teemo earlier, and we killed him early game, like level 2 or th level 3, just off of E spam. But yeah, anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. If you're watching on YouTube right now, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over on the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Follow, be alerted when I go live. Also check out my SRO highlights channel for the Road to Challenger series and SRO League University for main or for my main champion pool, educational commentaries with like meta builds, nothing really troll. I think this is a meta build. I had somebody play it on my main account, uh, against me on my main account. He hard carried the game. He had like 14 kills, three deaths or something. But yeah, anyways, GG Well Played, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.